Ladies and gentlemen, lo and behold, this is your refreshed iMac for 2020. Now hold on, hold on, I know, I know. I am utterly disappointed in this thing. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's a beast and it is on the tail end of possibly the last Intel based iMac we might ever see from Apple. But Apple, I got a question for you. Have you like not heard our pleas and cries for a redesign on the iMac for what seems like the past three centuries? Like dude, I know you hear us loud and clear and I know you have a dedicated and creative team that can make it happen, but you didn't. I'm sorry, that was my little rant, it's just there have been rampant rumors yet again about this thing being this sexy, futuristic 31 or 32 inch all in one behemoth. But hey, I guess Apple thinks it's okay to divert our attention away from no redesign and at least say, but hey, we upgraded the 720p potato camera to a now 1080p camera. I'm probably being too harsh on this thing, so let's see if this unboxing changes my mind a little, because there are a decent amount of great improvements going on here. Let's go. There she is. She's a beauty, isn't she? The UPS guy was a smaller dude and was struggling carrying this box so I had to help him down the hill. And I mean hey, I don't blame him. This box is massive and heavy, so be very careful when opening it up. But as you'll see on the front we have an image of our colorful iMac wallpaper. And if we flip the box to the other side, we see we have a side profile of the computer. We do have a pull tab to assist this time around. So no crazy cutting tools this time around, sadly. Again, be very careful when doing this, but open up the box, and first you are presented with a box within a box that reads, designed by Apple in California. And inside this box is where you'll find your accessories, including your magic keyboard, magic mouse, a USB-A to lightning cable, literature packet, cleaning cloth, and the absolute most important part of this unboxing, the Apple stickers. Yeah, but who cares? We came to see the iMac, so be very careful in removing the styrofoam that is protecting your iMac during shipment. Remove the cloth like protector shrouding your shiny new computer, but wait, there's more. Then you have to remove the clear film protecting the screen, base, gotta make sure it doesn't get scratched now, love the energy. Now we're talking. So now you're ready to plug it in and you're ready to rock and roll my friend. Now going over a quick tour of this gorgeous iMac. At the forefront we see that gorgeous 27 inch 5K retina display that is just so stunning to look at. Look, this video, even cranked up to 4K does not do it justice. The 5K is so crisp you can literally put your eyeball to the glass and not see a single pixel. We then divert our attentions to sadly, no shrunken bezels. We retain the same hideous bezels that honestly make this iMac look really, really outdated, especially in 2020. Everything nowadays either has a tiny bezel or no bezel at all. So it's weird Apple of all companies hasn't hopped on this yet for their beloved iMac line. Our huge aluminum chin at the bottom with your Apple logo right in the middle. Looking at this from the side and you'll truly begin to admire the design and engineering that Apple put into this thing. As a matter of fact, you'll see the iMac bulges towards the center to house all your important components like your SSD, processor, and other important computer stuff. But then tapers down to just a 5mm edge. I remember this being a huge deal when this first debuted. It's just razor thin. We do have our improved 1080p camera up top hidden within the black bezel and at the very bottom of our iMacs are our improved down firing speakers. If we turn our computer to the back though, we see a tiny microphone up top above the Apple logo. The Apple logo by the way isn't there just to make the computer look aesthetically pleasing. It's actually a plastic window to allow Bluetooth transparency and to improve overall Wi-Fi connectivity. In the middle we have our stand that allows a decent angle of articulation on the iMac, but you cannot adjust the iMac screen side to side or up and down, it just kind of angles up and down. Towards the bottom left is our I.O. and I.O. is big for content creators like myself. Here Apple decided to stick with just two USB-C ports, kind of wish they gave us four, but whatever. On the far left we have our headphone port, followed by an SDXC card slot, four USB Type-A ports, 
two USB-C ports, and a gigabit ethernet port. To the bottom right is our power button used to turn our computer on and off, and underneath where the stand attaches to the iMac is a good bit of ventilation, a secret door that allows you to upgrade the RAM yourself, and then of course our plug-in for power. As much as I bashed this thing at the beginning, the iMac is quintessential to Apple's design language. It's super iconic and has had more or less the same exact design and chassis for what, well over a decade now, if not more. And while it is pretty to look at, the enormous chin that rivals the crimson chin off the Fairly Odd Parents has to go, dude. Not to mention the huge bezels that some are okay with, but definitely not me. It's 2020, and time after time again, Apple has not shrunken those bezels down to give us iMac lovers what we have dreamt of for years. But anyway... You can see I'm passionate about this, right? The outside might look the same, but let's go over everything that is new with this new iMac internally. Let's start with the specs. So this is going to be the baseline model and does retail for $1,800. But believe it or not, I think this is a terrific deal. One of Apple's best. Let me explain. The iMac is an all-in-one, meaning you get the full package unlike something like the Mac Pro that starts at five grand. and if you want to get the matching monitor for the Mac Pro, it is definitely going to be sold separately for another $5,000. With this iMac, you do also get a keyboard and mouse. So like I said, it is an all-in-one display, computer, keyboard, and mouse. You're ready to go straight out of the box. But now going over to the display and we get this beautiful 27 inch 4K retina display with a screen resolution of 4096 by 2304 and with support for up to 1 billion colors. It has a P3 wide color gamut and can get up to 50 nits of peak brightness. Spec wise, this is where it gets interesting. The baseline model comes equipped with a 3.1 gigahertz 6 core processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM and by the way, do not pay for 128 gigabytes of RAM or don't pay for any upgrade directly through Apple. You can actually buy it yourself for a heavy discount. I'm talking near 60 to 70% off if you decide to upgrade yourself. I'll go over how to do that in a separate video once my maxed out iMac arrives, so stay tuned. But interestingly, it does come with a Radeon Pro 5300 with 4 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. What sucks though is you can't configure your graphics card to something better directly through Apple. Apple unless you opt for the higher tier model and that starts at 2300 ah there it is there's typical Apple if you do opt for this and for an additional $500 more you can get a Radeon Pro 5700 XT graphics card with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory again I have a maxed out model on order so I can't wait to test that one but okay, enough specs. I can already hear you in the back over there taking a quick snooze. What else has changed? Aside from the beefy spec improvements, one of the things Apple is really trying to up their game in is in the audio and microphone department. Now, it's really hard to replicate sound over a microphone and over a YouTube video. The best thing to do is to head to an Apple store and listen for your... Oh, wait, COVID. Dang, Rona. All right, we'll just have a listen. I'd suggest using headphones if you have them nearby and let me know what you think of the newly improved speakers found inside the new 2020 IMAX. <music> This is real, 100% real. I'm sad to say it. Apple has now crossed the boundary from insane to 100% wild and out insane. <laughs> Pretty impressive, am I right? But again, it's just hard to actually get a feel for sound, especially over a YouTube video. It's just one of those things you have to hear in person to truly appreciate. But take my word for it, they sound dope as heck. Regardless of genres of music, the audio on this new iMac blew me away and is much improved. But now let's move on to testing that new 1080p camera and the new microphone. Here we have our new 1080p sensor. 
What do you think? I mean, in my opinion, it is a far better improvement from the previous 720p potatoes we had beforehand. Man, those things were so bad. But hey, I mean, this is going to get the job done a lot better. This is going to serve, you know, for your typical Skype call, maybe a FaceTime here and there. So while it isn't going to be your DSLR, you know, 4K, 5K camera, it's still going to get the job done much better than the previous IMAX did. What do you guys think? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here to see what all the hype is about Apple's new microphones found inside the new 2020 IMAX. So Tim Apple and his boys are saying that these microphones are going to rival some professional studio microphones. Well, we're here to find that out. So slowly, as I keep talking to you guys, I'm slowly pushing away from my chair. So right now I'm at about social distancing level, about six feet away from my iMac as it should be with you and your tech. And I keep pushing away and now I'm about 10 feet away. So I also wanted to see how well the microphones would pick up on different distances. How are these microphones sounding? I think they're top notch, but I personally would not use them for my YouTube videos. But apart from that, that's all folks. Oh yeah, one last notable thing is that SSDs are now standard across all iMacs, even the 21.5 inch. Do you know how great that is? For the longest, Apple sold most of their low respect models with inferior fusion drives, a combination of an SSD and a hard drive. And so that didn't make much sense in 2020. So I'm glad SSDs are now standard across the board. It's a huge win in just about every category. SSD prices have gone down lately. They're much more reliable, but more than anything, they're just way faster. But guys, that's been it. I know it wasn't the radical redesign we were hoping for, sadly. It's crazy to think this may very well be the last iteration of Intel-based iMacs before Apple makes a transition over to their own Apple Silicon. I think once they make that transition, they're going to try to flex extra hard, and that's when the redesign will come through. But who knows? It's Apple. Anything is possible. While this is definitely not a reason to upgrade from a 2019 iMac or even a 2018 it's still a beast in its own right and no one can deny that this all-in-one is here to stay and is arguably one of the better deals currently in tech this base iMac is great for students emerging professionals people who have a drive for their hobbies and even for business that's just the versatility of Apple's all-in-one flagship desktop setup but guys I want to know what you guys think were you disappointed we still haven't seen our iMac redesign? What do you think of the new microphone and speaker system? Let's get a discussion going down in the comments, but before I go, I promised you guys a giveaway. So to celebrate 40 thousand subscribers insane i still can't even believe it i feel it's only right to repay the very people who are making all of this possible you guys the best subscribers in the world so there's two chances to win up for grabs are two brand new pairs of airpods 2 and to enter is extremely simple for entry number one, simply follow my Twitter and retweet my pinned comment. It's this post right here. And boom, you're entered for the Twitter giveaway. A random winner will be chosen on August 28th. If you don't have a Twitter, make a quick one and enter. I don't know. But I know more people have an Instagram. So for a second entry, head over to my Instagram and on the same picture that I have on my Twitter pinned comment, tag three friends and make sure to give me a follow and boom, you are in my friend. Both giveaways are running simultaneously and end August 26th, so make sure to go over and enter. Before you know it, we'll be at 50,000, and that will be yet another celebration with even bigger prizes. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring that bell so you never miss out on future polls, giveaways, and of course, that juicy tech content. But until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and each other.